Now what happens as we really plug into this continuous expansion on multiple levels, we put our mind around it, our emotions around it, our thoughts around it. We will see that miracles start to happen in our life, or so-called miracles. There are really no mysterious miracles that happen. Miracles are things that you put into place that come out and you notice them. The Tibetan master and Master Moria say miracles happen in our life every single minute, but we miss it. We don't see it. All these things that happened to me were commonplace. I could have easily missed them, but I poised myself before I started on the journey. I asked the question, what am I doing and where am I going and why? And I said, observe and see what life tells you. Life tells us every single minute what's going on, but we don't get it because we're not tuned in. And we call it a miracle when something happens, when somebody gives us a check or somebody calls us and says, it's not a miracle, it's life. It's life. Just watch it and see what have you put in place that that comes back. So continuity creates miracles, and miracle is not a chance happening. It is a cause and effect. So if you want more miracles in your life, put more things into place that will have an effect of a miracle, an inspiring event in your life. So when we embrace the idea of continuity, we will see greater things happening in our life. Greater health, greater prosperity, greater understanding, greater love, greater depth of discipleship. We will see our vanity and ego start diminishing. What a nice thing that would be. Oh my goodness. We all have ego, let's face it, we all do. We all want to have everything happen the way we want it to happen, don't we? Of course we do, we're organized, hey, we're straight, we want everything to be just right. But look at the ego that's involved in that and how when we look at the bigger picture, that makes absolutely no difference. So what if something is like this or like this? In the bigger picture of infinity, it makes no difference how your napkin is folded, truly. Do you see that? I mean, I'm just exaggerating infinity and napkins, okay? But that is the kind of ridiculousness that we involve ourselves in on a daily basis, comparing little things and make very important things out of them when they're really not that important. Okay? Not that important. So when we embrace this idea of continuity, our ego, our vanity, our illusions and glamour start dissipating the dweller on the threshold that will stop us from going to the next levels of initiation and greater understanding and participation in the subtle worlds will start diminishing. We'll start bringing it down. <clears throat> we won't have that wall that we bump ourselves against because we will see there is no wall. We will link into all the energies, the benevolent energies of the universe, all of it as we start really embracing the miracle of continuity and limitlessness in our life. All things are possible. And that was one of the key words that I used in my lecture in London. I said, life is the art and science of the possible. Art because you are continuously creating and responding to life as it comes in creative ways. You don't know what's going to happen next sometimes, so you have to be very artistic and creative. It's a science because you have to do it right, because you know whatever you do, a result is going to happen. So you better know what you're doing. You see? So it's the possibilities. Life is the art and science of continuous possibilities. What a beautiful concept. So continuity is the most subtle energy that we have to discover for ourselves in our own way so that we can hook into that great universal energy that is for us. It's available for us in all its beauty. Extraordinary things happen by people who are ordinary, but have the capacity to embrace the concept of infinity. Sometimes we think people who become great international financiers, presidents, whatever, are just so special, they just have God's hand right on their heads, 
But you know what? They reached up to God. They believed in it. They believed in possibilities. And look at the phrase that we have coined in the United States, and it is now all over the world. Yes, we can. It's, it's that simple. Yes, we can, because it is possible. It's infinite. So Sagittarius, that layer of meaning of infinity in it, is what I'd like to have us focus on for the next 12 months until we come to next year's Sagittarius. Stretch yourself and see in how many ways you can really take your mind and your feelings and your knowledge and your understanding to infinity. This is Gita Seridarian, and I would like to thank you for your interest in this video lecture. We have books, booklets, and spiritual study courses on this very topic. Please visit us at tsgfoundation.org for more information on all TSG Foundation products and services. Thank you.